Hey guys, this is another video on the fuel system of a 182, particularly if you have to drain the tank. So I've done this before, I made a mess, um, and so now I have figured out a system that I think would be useful to others. Plus it gives you an idea of the Cessna 182 fuel system. So it is gravity fed. Um, there are actually bladders in a 1972 version, a 182P. There are actually bladders in here. And every time that you go to take off, or before you take off, you want to check the fuel quality, make sure there's no water in there. And normally I'd have a stick or some kind of collection device that where I could see. There's plenty of videos on that. This video is actually about draining your tanks because I need to work on the fuel selector valve again. And in order to do that, I have to get rid of the fuel. So, the man here and I have figured out a great little system here where we have vinyl tubing. Um, we also have a hose clamp here, like which should go on the outside of the vinyl tubing. And then we use these vice grips to hold up the fuel, the fuel uh, something valve or uh, fuel drain valve is what they're officially called. There's a spring there that resists it, so obviously fuel won't leak when you're flying or just in order. And that's like a lot of work to hold it up. So we have these vice grips here to do that. And it's a pretty adequate flow. Let's, let's go over here and take a look what we got going on. 15, 20 minutes and a half the a five gallon tank is, fuel, is full. So I have two, two five gallon cans, gas cans here. Um, when it does, this one fills up, we'll just simply move the hose over to the other can. Very little fuel gets out. I'm not getting a headache from very powerful 100 low lead fuel. All right, just to finish this up, I have transferred from this tank to another tank. It's approximately 10 gallons in this tank. A couple things here real fast. One is that how do you get it down to 10 gallons on each tank? There's two sides. Um, basically did cross country flight, get the tanks down and then find the pattern so that you can know exactly how much fuel you're burning. So you get it down to less than 10, 10 gallons for this plane. And then uh, basically you got, I have two five gallon tanks on each side uh, that allow for five gallons plus a little extra. And so we're at the final phase of draining these tanks for the Cessna 182 so that we can work on it. And so that concludes kind of a clever way how to drain your tanks without getting too messy.